speeder bikes, AT-80, Y-wings, rocket launchers, blasters, shield, stormtroopers, rebel soldiers, X-wing, TIE fighters, Boba Fett and Darth Vader all in this one kick-ass video. But finally, after two years of the game being announced at A3, we just seen a brand new game from DICE. I'll be doing a breakdown of what we just witnessed, so stick around. Also, I've seen some pre-alpha build of Star Wars Battlefront a few weeks back in Sweden when DICE and EA invited me over to let me look what they had cooking in their secret lab and provide some healthy feedback on the game. It was a pretty sick experience, already being a Star Wars fan, so, you know, it was a huge opportunity for myself to check out this game and uh, see what they really did have cooking in that lab. But I know for sure this trailer was captured on PlayStation 4 running at 60 frames per second. So watch out for the Star Wars police on the battlefront because running at those frames, you'll be a smooth criminal. But let's get into it. Walkers. We seen one at the start, maybe a new game mode, Walker Assault. Who knows? Gotta take them them walkers with your galaxy friends and they look insanely OP and I would really like one in real life. How amazing would that be? Playable Jedis as we've seen the almighty Darth Vader with his glowing red lightsaber. Don't forget, we've seen Boba Fett also, so hopefully we can go these special characters in the game because I think that would be pretty sick. I, I would like to choose Boba Fett over anybody else because he looks like he was too OP. Ewok Village is confirmed by the looks of it, we were on Endor. How awesome would it be if you were an Ewok in this game? Just picture yourself teabagging someone as an Ewok. Weapons, misc, blasters, rocket launchers, snipers and handguns also confirmed. Looks like we won't be short on weapons, so I'm pretty happy with that, of what I saw anyways. Also, that jetpack looked pretty fun. Really, really fun. Also, indoor and outdoor map locations confirmed, so everyone can be camptastic and happy about their playing style or strategies. And uh, yeah, it looks, it looks like a pretty thrilling shooter. Looks like one of those mixed kind of varieties of people who like to play indoor or outdoor locations on big ass maps. Planets. We seen Hoth with the snow troopers fighting the rebel soldiers. That big AT-80 and snow speeders look really sick on that freezing cold planet. Tatuani. Don't think I said that right, but it's quite hard for me to say in my accent. Boba Fett. Looks like he was ripping up with his infamous blaster. Boba Fett is OP confirmed by the looks of it. We also got a glimpse of the X-Wing and the TIE Fighter. Endor, loved the look of this map as I probably already said. I like jungles in general but we've seen the most of the showdown on this planet. Witnessing the speeder bikes, AT-ATs, white wings, all the weapons I mentioned of course. And uh, yeah, it looks absolutely thick brother. Can't wait to experience this map for myself. So let's get on to the last and final map that I really... Didn't even know why uh, I didn't even know it existed. I think this is a new map, maybe. Don't think this has a name yet, but uh, it looks like I want to know more. We also seen the TIE Fighter again and the Millennium Falcon, which is too OP for my eyes. Can't wait to see what that map brings to Battlefront. But that's it for me just now. Hopefully, we see more in the future. Like this video if you want more up to date informational things on Battlefront. Absolutely cannot wait for this game, it's going to blow my head out of the water. Remember to leave a comment down below on what you think about this trailer. Let me know what you'd add to the game, which you didn't already see. I like to see ideas out the blue. Also, don't forget to subscribe and thanks again for stopping by. And have a great day dudes, and may the force be with you.